Serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, commonly abbreviated as SNRIs, are a class of antidepressant drugs used to treat various mental health conditions, including depression and anxiety. In this visual mnemonic, we'll go through everything you need to know about SNRIs so you'll be ready to go into nursing school and the NCLEX with confidence. For today's mnemonic, I hope you're ready for a cozy night in. We're talking takeout, ice cream, and a classic Western movie. Take a look at the TV screen and you'll notice a beautiful sunrise. This sunrise is our symbol for today's drug class, SNRIs. Sunrise for SNRIs, get it? Because SNRIs stands for sunrise. They sound almost exactly the same, right? Well, actually, SNRIs stands for serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. The name might be self-explanatory, but let's continue on with the mnemonic to talk more about how SNRIs work. There's nothing better than a night in with our favorite takeout. The food is sitting there on the couch in a takeout bag with a big happy face on it. Here at Pixar Eyes, we use this happy face to symbolize serotonin, since serotonin is the feel-good neurotransmitter that makes you feel happy, right? Just like takeout makes you happy. SNRIs, as their name suggests, increases the levels of serotonin in the brain by blocking their reuptake into cells. Now, back to this Western movie. Back in the old days, they didn't have GPS to help them get around. Nope, they used the good old compass. I'm sure you're aware that the N on a compass stands for north, and the word north reminds me of a hormone, norepinephrine. North for norepinephrine, got that? In addition to serotonin, SNRIs also increase norepinephrine levels in the same way. If you can just remember that SNRI stands for serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, then you already know the mechanism. It's a two-for-one. Next, there are two common drug names for the SNRIs that you should be able to recognize. It wouldn't be a Western movie without this classic duel scene. This sunrise duel is the climax of the movie. The duel is also our symbol for the drug duloxetine. Duel for duloxetine, get it? Duloxetine is probably the most common SNRI you'll encounter. And remember that duloxetine is an SNRI, not an SSRI. This can be tricky, but now it'll be easy to remember because of the sunrise duel. Like I said, there is a lot of emotion built up at this point in the movie. The girl watching the movie is super into it, so much that she's forgetting to eat her vanilla ice cream, and she hasn't even noticed that it's melting all over. This vanilla ice cream also helps me remember venlafaxine, our second SNRI drug to know. Vanilla for venlafaxine. Think vanilla vaccine if that helps. Now that we know which drugs are SNRIs, let's talk about when they are used. Oh no, our favorite character got shot in the duel. One of our movie watchers here has become so emotional and sad over this turn of events that she is now crying. Here at Pixar Eyes, we use a person crying to symbolize depression, because she definitely looks pretty depressed if you ask me. SNRIs are used to treat depression, and that makes sense if you think about how increased serotonin boosts mood. It's thought that increasing norepinephrine levels can also act similarly to increase mood. So just remember this crying girl to remember that SNRIs treat depression. The boy sitting on the couch next to the girl is looking extremely anxious, but not because he's been watching the movie. He's been trying to muster up the courage to kiss her. As the movie's playing, his anxiety has been rising and rising as he waits for the right moment. His anxiety is the symbol for, well, anxiety. You see, SNRIs can also treat anxiety in addition to depression. This can be general anxiety disorder or other anxiety disorders like PTSD or panic disorder, to name a few. Now, I'm not speaking from experience here, but getting shot is pretty painful. I mean, just look at the way the cowboy is clutching his arm in pain. The pain here should help you remember that SNRIs can also be used to treat chronic pain. Note that I said chronic pain, meaning pain that can last for weeks up to years. SNRIs won't help for short-term pain, But for pain like nerve pain from diabetes, fibromyalgia, or chronic back pain, SNRIs can be really useful. Next, let's talk about some potential side effects of these drugs. We've talked about how this happy face takeout bag represents an increase in serotonin, which boosts mood. 
Well, too much serotonin is actually a bad thing because it can lead to what we call serotonin syndrome. Serotonin syndrome is a medical emergency that results from too much serotonin in which the whole body is basically on overdrive. Patients can experience tachycardia, sweating, hypertension, rigid muscles, hyperactive reflexes, diarrhea, headache, and so on. You get the idea. Serotonin syndrome isn't likely to occur with an SNRI on its own, but be sure to advise the patient not to take any other medications or supplements that increase serotonin levels or serotonin syndrome may occur. Let's take a minute and discuss two of these things to avoid, because they come up often on the NCLEX. Our anxious boy here is wearing a jersey from his favorite sports team, the Saints. I don't know if you've heard, but these Saints have a new mascot, and it's this ferocious-looking warthog. I think the boy was hoping that his lucky jersey would bring him some luck on tonight's date. This Saints warthog here is our symbol for the supplement St. John's Wart. Get it? A Saints warthog for St. John's Wart? St. John's Wart increases serotonin levels, so it should not be taken with SNRIs. It would be one thing if the vanilla ice cream was spilling onto the couch or the floor, but this is a crisis because it is spilling onto some plane tickets to Maui. This movie must be captivating if the girl is so involved that she didn't notice her Maui plane tickets are now getting ruined. Here at Pixarize, we use Maui as our symbol for the drug class MAOIs. Maui for MAOIs. We won't go into details on MAOIs in this video, but just know that MAOIs also increase serotonin levels and can lead to serotonin syndrome. So they should also be avoided by patients taking SNRIs. Of course, the boy chooses the worst moment to go in for the kiss. His anxiety must have clouded his thinking because everybody knows you don't go in for the kiss at the most important part of the movie. The girl has put her hand up blocking the kiss. She doesn't want to miss what happens next. By the way, the picture of the girl rejecting the kiss is the symbol for sexual dysfunction. It's not entirely clear how SNRIs cause sexual dysfunction, but this can become a big concern to patients when they are experiencing a low libido or low sex drive, as well as difficulty achieving orgasm or anorgasmia. If a patient expresses a concern with sexual dysfunction, encourage them to talk to their provider about other treatment options. All right, that's everything for SNRIs. Let's review what we've learned here. Serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, abbreviated SNRIs, are a class of medications that increase serotonin and norepinephrine levels in the brain. SNRIs are useful in treating depression, anxiety, and chronic pain. Notably, SNRIs have the potential to cause serotonin syndrome, a life-threatening medical emergency. As a reminder, with serotonin syndrome, the body is experiencing overactive everything tachycardia, hypertension, hyperactive reflexes, diarrhea, and so on. The risk for serotonin syndrome is increased if SNRIs are combined with any other serotonin-altering substances, like St. John's wort or MAOIs. Last but not least, SNRIs can cause sexual dysfunction. Okay, I'm going to get back to watching this Western movie, so I'll have to leave you to keep studying. Thanks for joining me for SNRIs, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.